What's going on, y'all? I'm Dave from RVFamily.life. Lived in an RV for two years with my family, my wife Tanya, two daughters, a German Shepherd, and a cat. And we uh, make these videos to show you what RV life is like. And right now, I am touring homes, or tiny homes, RVs, of people that actually live in their RVs to just show you what their life is like, show you what adjustments they've made. So today, we're gonna look at this Grand Design Solitude 3740BH. That is a bunkhouse. It's a rear bunkhouse. It has a half bath with an extra exit. So we're going to take a look. Now, this isn't the only one that I've reviewed that's like this. And I've noticed some key differences already just by looking at the stickers. So let's go take a look and see what is different. Now, the first one we looked at, 3740, was 18,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. Well, this one is 16,800. And with talking with uh, the previous owner, they had upgraded axles. So I think that what, that is a, a, a huge difference there. Now this one actually does have upgraded axles, but they were done after the this fact. Grand Design Solitudes have a lower drop frame in the front, allowing them to have a much taller pass-through storage. It gives you a lot of extra space. There's your water heater and furnace. I love the fact that the furnace has a panel on the exterior so that you can work on it when it breaks. You don't have to worry too much about that. Whereas opposed to our RV, our open range, we have to pull the furnace out from the inside just to work on it. There's the 50 amp connection. I like the 50 amp being in the middle as opposed to the rear. It usually gives you more play with where that power cord is. Ours is at the very back. These vents right here will denote that this is probably has a propane fridge or at least it did originally. We'll see what it's like when we get inside. There are a lot of people that are out here looking at RVs today, so we're going to try to work our way around all those people. Let's see what we got going. Starlink on the ladder, as well as uh, the stinky tote hanging back there. They've got a hitch right there. could be used for something. It's currently not working too hard. This model also has an outdoor kitchen back here on the back panel, right next to the exit for the half bath. Let's go up. A lot of people will start in the front. Oh man, look at this. Is that your desk? Yeah, so the, this all folds out. This used to be the dresser, we pulled it out. So I won't click it in because then I have to put it down, but it just folds out. That's a drum throne. That's my chair when, I, uh, when I'm sitting at the desk. Nice. Um, that's a little thing that comes from being a drummer. Okay. <laughs> Knowing that that's there. We redid the whole front closet. So yeah, you did. We had to build enough storage to get rid of the dresser. And the other big thing was the uh, washer dryer. It was east-west. It went out sideways. And so okay. when you open the door, you had to clear out a bunch of storage and not use a bunch of storage to be able to open the door to the washer and dryer. It just didn't make a lot of sense. Okay. So we reconfigured everything so that was north-south. Right. So the door opened into the room and we'd have to remove any of the storage. Yeah. And we, we probably doubled the amount of storage we have in this room. That's amazing. While still removing the dresser. Yeah, no, that's great. I love it. Yeah. And I'm guessing that Stuart did this work? Stuart did the work. Stuart did the work. All right. <laughs> and this is a queen? Yeah, this is a queen. It came with the king platform. Okay. Um, but we had a queen at home to begin with, and we wanted the extra space. So we yes. put the platform down and just put the queen in. Yeah. I've got two feet on the side of our king size bed that is storage. Yeah. On the bed. And yeah. it's like, I wish I just had a queen. Yeah, it, that was our preference. And so it came with the king platform originally, and then cut yeah. that down. We did that in our last rig, too. The first rig we bought also had a king bed. It's like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> don't want Everybody's that. like, how, how can you go without a king bed? And you're, you're a big guy. I'm like, man, when I go to sleep, I don't move that much. That's right. That's right. I could do it on a twin bed if oh, okay. I still like my life, too. So being close is not a big deal. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. Let's take a look in the bathroom. Yeah. Please do. Nice wallpaper back there. Whatever. Whatever. I think it's great. And, uh, you can I'll come up if you want. <laughs> we'll make room for you. They have a max fan in here, which is great. I love the two bathrooms. And I've got plenty yeah. of head space in here, and there is also the skylight in the shower, so that will give me plenty of room in the shower. You can photo, or a painting right there. Let's take a look at what we've got here. There would have been a couch to fill this whole space with a chase lounger. Yeah. And they've taken that out. That's a great job, Lydia. Massive ottoman. I'm loving this map. I want to do something that shows the cities we went to because by just showing the states, it kind of really changes what you're looking at. Like I only went to one corner of New Mexico. <laughs> anyway, back to this. We've got nice Star Wars drapes here. Terrific. Cute little stuffed animals in the corner. 
and uh, little blinds over there. I like the space. Yeah. Grogu and the Mandalorian. And I love those lights back there. Almost like a Christmas light like feel. And down here, this would have been a couch, but they've just kind of got another bed in here. Not a whole lot of cabinetry, but they just went ahead and honestly, I probably have a ton of these types of drawers here. They're cheap, they're quick, and you know, if you don't like them, you can swap them out for something different without having to pay for a bunch of money to go build a bunch of cu custom cabinetry. Because there's nothing worse than that, spending a thousand dollars building all new cabinets in here and then all of a sudden deciding, I don't like those. Whereas these, you can buy these for $10. If you decide you need something different, go spend $20 and you can get to what you're looking for faster that way. Especially also these uh, storage bins like this, they got a little bit of flex and play to the side. So if the kids have a little bit too many stuffed animals, it still works. And I believe this used to be a closet right here with a bed that went sideways. And it looks like they went ahead and just tore that closet out and added another bed there. So I don't know if you're counting or not, but we're at one, two, three, four. There's four punks in here. How cool is that? And we've got a nice space up here. Now I'm trying to debate. I wish Kaylin was here. I don't know if Kaylin could sit all the way up in this bunk. I think that it lost space on the simple fact that they have added a thicker mattress. So whoever's sleeping up here is getting a better night's sleep with a great mattress but losing out a little bit on the headspace up there. So those are one of the things you got to think about too. When you decide that you want to add an extra mattress to your RV or a thicker mattress or more comfortable mattress, it may change the dynamics of your headroom. So don't forget that when you're making those adjustments. A lot of uh, Grogu's going on around here as well as uh, Taylor Swift. That's all right. We won't hold it against them, right? How about that? Make it yours of Boba Fett. Very cool. I mean, I so this is the half bath and you've got your standard <laughs> hook on the wall. This is kind of comes with the RV. Like and uh, like here's a little storage cubby. I think that that's been modified a little bit from the way that it was originally. Yeah. Got a Back in the living room here, we've got a fireplace there, the TV over the top. I feel like that's been adjusted or changed a little bit. Not really sure. All right, we've got the kitchen in here. We've got a nice looking oven and stove. And is this a four burner stove, I believe? Three, three, three burner, okay. Nice solid top countertops. Love the design and the edging on that. And the uh, espresso machine definitely makes it feel more like a coffee shop around here. Yeah. We've got the island in the middle with a stainless steel sink right there. I love the use of an extra tub to separate it. And I'm really loving this paint. Tranquil. It, oh, that is very sure. fitting. Peacock, because it makes me think of those peacock feathers. And who's the artist? I don't know. And oh. someone's in Alaska. Someone in Alaska. That, that was our... Bought in okay. Yeah. And I don't know her name, and that makes sense. And do you all refer to this as a coffee bar or well, the taco bar? That was our coffee bar up until uh, last week when we got the new espresso maker. And now that's the fit. coffee bar. That one doesn't fit on the coffee bar. So now this is the coffee bar, and that is a shelf. Couldn't <laughs> it go sideways? Uh, it could. Okay. <laughs> but that just fits better over there. Yeah. And I'm really loving the window. Our RV has the wall. It's like open range. Just slap a tiny window right there. Yeah. Decent sized microwave. Does it do convection? Yep. Very nice. And how's your propane fridge doing for you? Uh, it's worked well for us. And also you've got someone that needs something a little special for sitting. So by changing out the couch that gave you the, the extra space so that you can fit extra stuff in there that's necessary, which that's is right. very cool. Are you still able to get the uh, the other four on the couch? Oh, yeah. Or does we somebody wind friends. up sitting on the ottoman? Everyone, if we have friends over, someone okay. sits on the ottoman, but if it's just us as the family, we all fit on the couch. And I understand you did have somebody here that was Stuart doing modifications for you. Yeah, Stuart helped us out with some modifications, helped us with the bunk room, helped us with the front. Does he do good work? Excellent work. He does? You don't have to? I No qualms. There's no buses to drive no. over? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he's great. So that was a terrific RV, uh, works well for families. As you can see, they were able to squeeze four beds back there in the bunkhouse. I just, I love how they had that set up. Stuart did a terrific job getting that all laid out for them. So the 3740 BH from Grand Design Solitude is a terrific option for families. Remember that life happens, don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.